But can you believe it? This is the 20th year of the Comedy Awards. That's unbelievable. And it's 20 years this show has had a checkered history, of course. Uh, first it's happening, then it's not. It's been on and off more times than Cheryl Cole's wedding ring. I've been doing it for 18 years. So any minute I'm expecting to be replaced by Alicia Dixon. <laughs> this age thing's serious. There's fear stalking the corridors of the BBC. And I'm not just talking about Hardeep Singh Kohli in a one-show green room. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. That's one mainly for the room, I feel. <laughs> but seriously, I must point out, both personally and contractually, there is absolutely no ageism at the BBC. Although you can buy a combined happy 30th birthday, sorry you're leaving card at the BBC shop. <laughs> from Arlene Phillips. <laughs> but it's been a tough year for comedy. You people have been under scrutiny. You can't say anything. I'm telling you, comedy has taken more hits than Leona Lewis at a book signing. <laughs> This is an example of the sort of joke you can't do anymore. <laughs> and television, instead of supporting you brave and creative people, is running scared. The vicar of Dibley's been axed for being too Diblist. <laughs> we can add a laugh. <laughs> a whole episode of the Antiques Roadshow was banned because they went to Effingham. And BBC Sport... <laughs> That's old school, you like that one? <laughs> we can laugh at that one, that's safe. And BBC Sport even agreed to drop the stunt kite flying from the Kent countryside. <laughs> Easy, snipers. But the BBC said it doesn't bow to pressure, and that was echoed by the new Mock the Week team captain, Pudsey Bear. <laughs> so it's been a remarkable year. For a start, I've been allowed to work for most of it. And this year... <laughs> but this year... Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so but this year, some shows have been totally brilliant, others have been totally Saturday. Graham Norton spent the whole year searching for Nancy and Oliver or anyone else who watched that show. <laughs> hey, but I love Graham, and to prove it, next year I'm going on his new BBC One chat show, Friday Night with Graham Norton. So. <laughs> Derek Akora amazed us all by speaking to Michael Jackson from Beyond the Grave. And if Derek is watching, give us a call, cos I need to get a message to Nick Hancock. <laughs> TV budgets have been cut and this show hasn't escaped. Tonight's goodie bags are so cheap, one of them actually contains Channel 5. That's how, long <laughs> That's how bad it's got. <laughs> and one of the trends, I know, is a lot of comedians have lost weight. Have you seen Jimmy Carr recently? Jimmy Carr has lost three stone. Two of those overnight when they republished that joke he told in The Sun. <laughs> and everybody in comedy has been twittering. It's great because you're restricted to 140 characters, which, of course, is 139 more than Ricky Gervais has ever done. <laughs> it's OK, it's not here, you can laugh. But time passes. <laughs> it's a packed show tonight. It's packed like Robert Webb's flash dance leotard. <laughs> so, just like Paul O'Grady at Channel 4, we must move on and begin the main business of the evening, disgruntling two-thirds of the people in the room. There are millions watching in their living rooms and Mark Thompson watching in his panic bunker. <laughs> To tell you, the judging has been long and it's been arduous. The judges have had to sit through ten hours of television today. Now they know what it's like to be Harry Hill. Or, more accurately, <laughs> Harry Hill's researchers. <laughs> I'm going to ask one rhetorical question before we move on. Do you want to win a comedy award? Of course you do. Do Ant and Deck play Nintendo Wii? Well, if the money's right, yes. But... <laughs> But you want to win. You try to play cool and know, but you want it, you want it bad. Even though you pretend it's as worthless as a five-star review in Heat, you are desperate for one. <laughs> Admit it, you want to grab this award and grip it like it's Jedward's throat. Well, some of you are going to win. You stand on the threshold of greatness, ready to meet the glorious future, and some of you are going to lose. And you stand on the threshold of Live at Studio 5, ready to meet Melinda Messenger, Ian Wright, and that bird off The Apprentice. 